Yo, what up guys? Welcome back to another metal art. Today I'm messing around uh, doing a metal art. Uh, I had this front end of a 1950 Studebaker for a while. I was planning to do another desk and get rid of it. But I'm just going to keep it. And I decided to do a barbecue front end of a, a barbecue grill front end of the 19 Studebaker. Uh, so right now I just, I never recorded uh, while I was welding it and everything, making the whole frame out of it. But I mean, it's common sense. You just got to score it up, measure it, make sure you guys have it pushed in just in case whenever you guys put the hood on or put the hood on and then measure it to see because and then if it doesn't if you guys weld the rod on the rear um the upper hood is not gonna uh it's not gonna be even it's gonna be either short or upper your frame but i did did all those measurements and uh, it's good to go like i said i just finished welding the front bumper so this is the look i'm trying to go guys if you guys can see that's gonna be dope Actually, that bumper, I pushed it in all the way, almost hitting the upper frame. Because on the Studebaker, the front bumper is all the way over here, and I don't want it to be sticking out. So whenever you barbecue, you know, you're not, your shin is not hitting, you know, the, um, the front bumper. I am going to put the headlights. I am going to buy just a single one with the light bulb. I am going to turn them on. Um, let me show you guys. So anyways... Let me show you. I was actually going to install the same tires. If you guys could see my other video of the Studebaker, my, my upper desk, my office desk, I already have these tires on. But I'm not going to install these tires because this is actually from my desk. And I did try to look for one. I really don't want to buy brand new ones. So I kind of went with another style either. I'm going to leave it Red Rock style, just on the, on the upper frame, on the whole body or either I am gonna paint it black and then just put some flames on it or just put it black and just leave it black and, and you know like rusted look oh I'm thinking about leaving it like that this is actually the hood here I still gotta make modifications here or oh, like I said right now I just finished cutting the whole rear plate now if you could see it's even already so it's even here I do got the sheet metal over there which I am gonna close this out now I do have to make either i buy the barrel and just put it but i do i'm gonna make it i think it's 30 by 30 or it's 30 by 28 because i do want it the grill all the way over here so you know slab of ribs and, and still put your meat on so i i did cut it like i said i'm gonna shorten it out way better because the student baker front end it's a little you know right now it's i think 33 inches it's lower than a desk a desk i think is upper 36 so this is perfect right now short to put it on the deck um like i said on the wheels um i am gonna go a little bit red rod but also muscle car looking uh so here are the rims that i am sh actually gonna go with so these are uh chevy craggers if you guys can see they're actually black because that's how i got them uh they, they they're actually chrome but they spray paint on black so i think i am gonna use a paint remover just to remove um the, the old scoop the old paint i am going to put um, a hub in there so i could wheel it back and forth so i don't gotta be carrying it so that's the next frame i gotta do but let me get to these tires so i did one low pro like if it's dropped it's not actually dropped all the way but i mean it's the perfect height um i do got the other pair of tire I am going to leave this slot here because I am going to put a radio here. So this is the side I'm going to put a radio, I believe. Uh, so I got this one. Uh, if you guys can see the big block Chevy desk. Oh. Sorry about this, guys. It's just that I only got one hand and my garage is only a one car garage. So so here are the triggers. So that's actually what I'm going to put in there. So if you guys can see. I'm actually gonna put I'm gonna put a rod up here and I'm gonna get two hubs with the spinners so they could go here I'm gonna put one rod here and I believe here I ain't gonna put nothing so I'm just gonna put the hub and uh, the, the two right there 
but this is the front end guys man i just weld it make weld uh, i did while i was jumping on it pushing it it's, it's uh, pretty strong so like i said square box it and then just put your lower square box and then your middle frame this is how i did the, the front bumper so i did cut i did cut off the frames uh the one that stick out from the normal one because it was too heavy so i did remove the whole plates and the only thing i got is just the um, bumper frame which is way better so uh, less heavier so you guys can see right there it's a little bit dark but i know you guys can see it hopefully i'm not blocking the mic because i was doing it in the last video but i did grind here i did remove uh, i am gonna end up removing from the hood the latch because it um it, it got that spring and it goes in here so i just want the flush it could just close um let me see on the holder i am gonna put probably two hinges door hinges there so it could go up and then i do have i do got the rod the um stock rod the one that holds the hood up so i think i'm gonna end up just putting it over there just doing it old school either i could just do it with the rod and then put these two springers you know put these two here and i know it's not gonna be too heat too you know too uh the heat's not gonna you know melt on because it's gonna be a little bit far apart but when i close the hood maybe so that's kind of the stuff i'm worrying about uh let's see other than that guys man so what i did with the desk i i did grind it before first what i did i used uh forgot that liquid i think it was coke uh coca-cola first I just threw it on top a little bit one bottle two liter and then I just use a, a wire brush to take out so it could smooth it out so right now it's actually smooth I'm not gonna spray paint it with gloss if I do it I'm gonna do a linseed oil on it if you guys don't know what linseed oil if you guys don't know what linseed oil check the check the YouTube channels American cars you know that's uh, for patina look so that's why I'm kind of going for a patina look here. Um, so here's the front bumper. Like I said, I did push it in all the way in, only probably like inch um, away from the upper fender. If you guys see those um, cracks there, I am gonna end up bonding probably. Like I said, it's gonna be a grill, so I want it to look all kind of but nice and clean. I really don't want to take the grill out and the lips on and, and you know eyebrows and whatever to be chrome them because i'm gonna keep it outside but let me know what you guys think guys let me know if i should go with these tires uh let me know if i should just go with the ss craigers which i think looks dope looks drop i am gonna oh, i don't know if i should just leave them black like that and put it all black but i don't know still thinking about it uh let me see I mean, if you guys got any other questions, guys, man, just leave a comment. You know, I just do this for fun. That's why I did not record the whole process on it. You know, I was bored right now. I'm actually kind of resting right now, so. Uh, let me try to record this real quick. Um, the bezels, I might take them out just to polish them a little bit. This one's a little more polished than that one. But uh, let me know, guys. Let me know what you guys think. I will be posting more videos on this once I'm actually painting it and uh, hopefully everything looks alright let me put the hood on so you guys can see it so I'll get back with you guys alright guys so this is how it's actually gonna come out to be um, barbecue car grill if you guys wanna call it so this is gonna be the actual hood, original hood. So right now, like I said, I gotta cut it here. I just, you know, cut it here to put the rear sheet metal plate, uh, shorten it out. But this is the this is the look. Let me know what you guys think. Should I keep the preggers all black? Just um, polish them a little bit and just leave it like this, rat right, raw right looking, which it looks real nice like this. I think. Uh, let me know, guys. Uh, like I said, uh, Studebaker champion, old school. And I'm gonna leave it like that right now. Actually, you know what? I got it perfect here, so I'm gonna end up just cutting it right now. I'm not gonna record this, guys, man, because you know it's all uh, just grinding. It's common sense. 
but uh, let me know what you guys think forget guys man more projects coming up you know right now i'm actually gonna install uh the receiver on my bike i think i'm gonna end up rolling it today but let me know what you guys think i think this is looks bad as fuck all right guys so to the next video i will keep this is actually part one because you know i think i'm gonna leave it i think i am gonna paint it so um all right guys peace